Welcome back to Drawing and Art with Elias. Alright guys, on today's episode we're going to try something different. This one is called Fluid Painting. Now I've been seeing this a lot online lately and I thought I want to give it a try. So what you're going to need for this one is just some basic art supplies. Um, first we're going to start off with an empty canvas. Um, if you don't have one, you can always make one. What I do is I just get some blank canvas, I make my own frame, I staple it to it, and just get it real nice and tight, tuck it in, and then I use some of this stuff that they put on window, window screen to get it nice and tight in there. And there you have an empty canvas. So on top of that, you're going to need some paint. And for this one, I'm going to use some acrylics. Now, um, you can use whatever you got, water-based paint or whatever. We're just going to try to try to make something out of this. I don't know if it's going to go right or wrong, but just bear with me and hopefully this comes out pretty cool. Okay, and for the next step, what you're going to want to do is lay down some newspaper. Um... I just had a mistake and paint just spilled all over the place so as you can see newspaper does help and kids if you're going to do this at home please ask your parents before you start doing this because I just made a huge mess. Um, next what you're going to need is the paint. So what we're going to do is we're just going to basically pour the paint and then we're going to spread it using air. For my base I'm going to use some light blue and all I'm gonna do is just pour it along the painting just like so See, uh, maybe a little bit of orange. And maybe a little bit of like some gray or some color. Now again, this is called fluid paint, so you're going to be using the fluid or the liquid of the paint to kind of move things around. Now I'm going to get some air, and before I use the air, I'm actually going to take the little torch to it and see if I can get some pop out of it. Blow it off and see what we got. Oops, my napkin got in the way there. That's actually kind of kind of neat. If we could get it spread out just a little bit more.
Now depending on the colors that you use, you can get some real pretty cool stuff out of it. I'm kind of liking that design right there. It looks like a flower. And to top it off, I might use a little bit of pixie dust and hit it with some sparkle. And what you're going to want to do is let this dry for at least a day or so. Then you can always like clear it or, you know, put it in a frame. That looks pretty cool. And there you have it. My very first fluid paint. What do you guys think? <laughs> Did I make a mess?